Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm still sick, which is just amazing. Uh, it's been a week now. Uh, I was hoping that I would get over it within a couple of days. No, it's it's still there. It's still, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> it's still there. I can breathe now, sort of, in a way. But other than that, I'm, uh, I'm still alive. And I'm still coping. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, this episode might be a bit shorter because I do struggle to talk at the moment. It's just, I've got this really nice cough that just keeps coming up for whatever reason. But yes, uh, this week we got Leo, and oh my god, I love Leo. He's like Takumi if Takumi was done well. Uh, I'm sorry, Takumi, but I have to keep doing that. You, you just deserve it, man. If I ever get Takumi, I'm gonna cry because I absolutely hate Takumi. I love I love Leo though. Leo's really fun. He's like he's got like the same attitude as Takumi, but he's just a nicer dude. Like he doesn't do this whole thing, especially in Conquest. Like I love Conquest so much. Conquest was my first Fire Emblem game, so I have a little bit of bias towards it. But the maps were good. I felt the story was probably the best one out of all of the Fates games, even though it was still pretty damn weak compared to other Fire Emblem games. I mean, they gave you an option to kill this one character, and if you did kill him or not, it didn't matter either way because you, you didn't. It didn't have any consequences on the story, which you know. It, it would have been better if it had some kind of consequences, but, you know, that's just how it be sometimes with Fates. I mean, I'm kind of sad in a way because Leo's been demoted to this, like, character who has, like, one of these shticks about him, where with Leo, it's about his obsession with tomatoes. Tomatoes for everyone from America. <laughs> but, it, you know, he mentions it a few times in his supports in Fates, and then boom, suddenly it's like an endearing character trait. Here, you like tomatoes? We're gonna make it your whole character now! I mean, he got a summer alt where his tome was a tomato tome for some reason. Uh, in the picnic alt as well, he, his weapon's a tomato too. I can't remember with the sort of Day of Devotion alt because I, I got him, but I rarely use him. But that probably had something to do with tomatoes as well. And as soon as he gets a legendary ult, which could happen now because we've had legendary Hinoka, it's gonna be tomatoes, isn't it? It's gonna be something to do with tomatoes. Like, ooh, I'm a legendary hero. What about some legendary tomatoes to go with me or something? I'm, I'm calling it now. You, you watch this space. As soon as we get him, that's gonna happen. They're just not gonna drop it. As soon as he gets a resplendent as well, it's gonna be tomatoes. It's just. They, they will not drop it. Can we just let Leo be Leo and stop doing this endearing character trait to do with some, like, some type of food item? I mean, for all the Persona fans out there, you know, you know a Ketchy with his pancakes, you know, a Dachi with the cabbages, and it was like Akihiko with protein as well. Just, can, can we? Can we have one character that just doesn't have anything to do with food, please? <laughs> yeah, apart from the whole food thing with Leo, uh, Leo's kind of cool. He's like a mage, and I, I love I love anything to do with mages. Magic is cool, and you know the fact that he's got this legendary weapon, which again we could have a legendary Leo at some point. I'm just. I don't know what to say, just yay. I'm sorry about the whole rant with Leo and tomatoes, but you know how it is, endearing character traits to do with some type of food. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, before I rant again about the whole Leo and tomatoes thing, I think I'm gonna call it here. Uh, my voice is starting to hurt a bit. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I am actually better next week and I can speak again and I don't sound like this because I sound absolutely awful right now. And yeah, uh, I hope to see you all again for another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes next time. See ya!